team of Jamie and the Sardines are the winners with all four flags captured. Hey! Paul and Ant are the losers with no flags captured at all, even though I was helping them. Here's Kaboom. And I just, I love it. I think, uh, Which one? it's, it's Kaboom. Kaboom. Yeah. It's basically this game. So the whole point is you're playing um, against other people. Yeah, you're playing with other people against other people. Um, see the guy you're shooting there? Mm -hmm. That was, um, see the guy you're shooting there? Had his name up there in green? Ant? Did you oh, see their team. name? Teammate. Oh. And he just killed him. Sorry! <laughs> Because it's so hard to uh, create that human-like responses with uh, AI, uh, and it's just much easier to play against real people. Um, well, things like this are usually a 12-hour stint, but at my mate's place, it's usually a case of going there on Friday and get, going home on um, on Sunday. <laughs> That's so, a free day. <laughs> but and then there's long weekends. Hey! Did you see me come in? Alright. Well, the most commonly played game is um, Counter Strike. I, I'm really not a big fan of that. Um, I just find that there's too many idiots playing it. To be to be brutally honest, the game I play most of the time is called Tribes. Oh yeah, I haven't seen that. Oh, okay. That's the strategy game. Or? Um, no, it's a first person shoot 'em up, but it's. Um, it was made specifically for the purpose of multiplayer. There is no single player campaign at all. And it there's just a whole lot of elements to it that aren't in any other that aren't in any other games of the of the type. And it's, you get a sniper and a um, Oh you can be a sniper if you want to, but basically there's three classes of armor, um, light, medium and heavy. And of course the different loadouts um, depend on what sort of weapons you can carry and how, how many. Right. So if you've got a light army you can carry more or be faster or something like that? Ah uh, yeah. If, if you're a light you can you have less weapons but um, oh, you, your speed is greatly increased. You can basically run away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just basically one of those capture the flag type games. Yeah. Yep. I've seen that. I've seen that in uh, Unreal Tournament. That's the basically a quake thing isn't it? Um, it reminds me, um, although quakes much more dumbified. Yeah. It's basically he who twitches fastest wins. I want to play Quake, but they won't let me. Yeah. So I think I'll have to stick with Counter Strike. Well, the way Tribes 2 works is basically there's two teams, the um, and basically the added element is that of a of a jetpack, and you just basically jump, hit the right mouse button, and it jets you up, and it just adds a whole new dimension to the game, and you can. Sweep down, the, sweep down, grab the flag, and basically bugger off out of there right. in no time. So and, you, and you can set, set up defenses like turrets and mines and a whole bunch of things like that. So you can build, um, build something like when you say turrets. Well, the good thing about it is, even if you aren't a good offensive player, you can still have a hell of a time setting up and maintaining um, good well, defense. Basically, the way it goes is first person's when you're looking through the eyes, and third person's when you're like a camera floating behind them and then there's other ones like RTS which is uh, real-time strategy right. uh, as opposed to turn-based strategy uh, and then you have uh, RPG which is role-playing games um, so they're the ones that uh, that have a lot of single-player focus but at the same time they're also evolving into massively multiplayer games where uh, thousands of people are all playing on the, together in this um, land of make-believe well, there's there's many people who choose just to do defense, and there's plenty of people who choose just to just to do the flag capping runs, and there's a lot of people who protect the flag carrier from the enemy base to your base. So there are just so many elements to the game that you, that you can basically be an average or rounder or be an expert at one area of it. Like a so, yeah, a specialist. That's exactly it. Just choose yeah, things, yeah, just do different things every time. So it's like, um, they talk about the number of hours you might get out of the game, like you might get 20 hours or something. 
Oh, a lot of people I know are getting 20 hours a day out of it for a couple of weeks now. These guys, yeah. Well, maybe not that much, but yeah, pretty much all their spare time, they're just sitting down playing it. Well, that's another good thing about tri uh, tribes is they use voice binds. Oh, right. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, it, it's voice binds that are based on the keyboard. Like, keyboard. for example, you hit V, and then two two other keys. That basically says a command or V and two different other keys. It's a different command. Yeah. Don't know about other people, but myself just get sick of staring at the computer screen and just need to get out and do something. I have the enemy flag heading back to our base, um, defend our base, we need more defence, I need an APC, pick up an APC as an aircraft which basically um, can, be, can be piloted by a member of your team and picks you up and... Moves you around. Yeah, so all the communication is done via voice binds, um, there's very little that you need to type in the text unless you actually just want to chat, so we're, we're, we're kicking ass, keep doing so, or we're in a bit of shit, so bail us out sort of thing. Oh, it was, it was definitely ahead of its time, but um, even even to, to this day, there's still a hell of a lot of people playing it. And you can always find a server with a with a bunch of guys on there to, to have a have a game with. So it's definitely got a longevity about it. Well, a lot of the people that I know who are into computers don't buy computers from a shop per se. They just get the parts together and build their machine. If they need to upgrade, then they upgrade the parts rather than buying a whole new rig. Um, but no, I, I don't think it'll, it'll affect the way that games keep jumping in leaps and bounds when it comes to what hardware it needs. I just basically think that if newer and faster and greater and better machines are, are, being, are not being made or the process of that is being slowed down, then games will just continue to be made for whatever hardware platform there is at the time. So. And I mean, nine times out of ten with the games that I play, eye candy doesn't really mean a thing. Sure. It's, it's it, I mean, if the game's fun, I'll play it. Serious dedication. <laughs> People with a lot of time on their hands. Yeah. Yeah. For a little while, at least. <laughs> we will be playing Counter Strike. Yeah. Uh, it's a most popular one. 